Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to share a really quick recipe with you guys. And really fast I'm going to take you over the ingredients while this stove is heating up. So let me take you over the ingredients and let you know what we're going to be making. So we're going to be making some white chili and it's not going to be chicken. I'm going to be doing it with turkey. I got this um, from Walmart on a sale. Um, this is about two pounds of tur ground turkey. So sorry about that. This is about two pounds of ground turkey meat. Um, I have one full bell pepper, roughly chopped. Um, I don't know about how much onion this is. Probably about one roughly chopped. I have cannellini beans and garbanzo beans rinsed here and then I have just a little bit of chicken broth I'm going to add in as well as a little bit of pinto beans I know this doesn't look great this, these have been in the fridge but I'll add a, maybe two spoons of this into it and then our spices but I'll take you over the spices whenever we get ready to add them in so my pan is heating up here and I just put um, about a tablespoon of coconut oil. So to that I'm going to add onion and bell pepper. Okay, so we'll just saute these a little bit until they're a little bit tender not much you'll see one tablespoon of oil is plenty also one more thing we're gonna add is gonna be um some ginger and garlic paste and this is just like ground ginger and ground garlic and i only add about this much right there I'll add a little bit more so we'll give that a stir keep on stirring so at this point if you want any kind of like fresh chilies like green chilies red chilies you would add that in I'm not going to put any. I'm going to add a dash of salt to this. And it is, it really does um, help move your veggies along a little bit faster. Just mix that up. Then, now we're going to add our turkey. Okay hey guys, so for my seasonings, what I add is fresh cumin powder. I add fresh coriander. I add paprika, turmeric garlic salt or not garlic salt garlic powder and then I add some more salt some more black pepper a little bit of onion powder and what I mean by fresh is like I actually have seeds that I roast and ground myself and I'll keep like I'll do it maybe once a week once every other week and then I'll keep it in a little jar or something as far as my fresh spices that's what I do and then here, like, I add my spices whenever my meat is a little bit less than halfway done, if that makes sense. So when it's still not completely cooked, I add it. That way it has time to really, um, so I'll just give this a mix. That way it has time to really season the meat. So out of all of that, and then I can see if I need more or less. And your seasonings, especially when you cook with fresh spices, they do need time to cook, you know? If you roast them, then they're already cooked, but like sometimes I don't roast them. I just grind them up and have them and then I'll cook them with my food. So there's that for now. I don't add any 
red chilies or green chilies because I like it but my husband doesn't and the whole reason in cooking like a white chili is to kind of stay away from all that uh, tomato -y and chili harsh flavors so we'll let this cook for some more time and I'll be back to show you the next steps okay so now that my meat is done as you can see all the flavor in this juice here if y'all can see that and I did go ahead and add a little bit more garlic like of the same seasonings but a little bit more because it was so much meat so to that I'm gonna add my two cans of beans So let me stir this up and see like where I'm at. There's so many times where I make something like this and leave it in my fridge all week because I can make, I can eat nachos with this. I can eat like make some fresh tortillas and eat it with this. I can make some rice and eat it with this. 